Yeah, but I never ate it, so... Uh... <laughs> so we've got stale old raspberries. It's all right, it goes off, it goes on the, it goes off on the, on the seconds, we've got a while. But the paranormal thrill seekers, and paranormal thrill seekers? <laughs> so what do we do? We're living in the past. The paranormal short sleeve is rubbed off the mug. Oh, um, dishwasher type scenario. So anyway, um, but you, well, I got some angel cake. Oh, you got cake, have you? I bought cake, yes. Yeah, so what do you want to do? Love well, your cake. <laughs> I can't get it in there. <laughs> right, okay. Um, hold on, Tony's, Tony's all over it. He's keen to... Do you have sugar in yours? Me? Yeah. No, no, I'm sweet enough. Oh, uh, yeah. If you want to speak to us. There's two microphones on here that you can... <laughs> noise there. Yeah, okay. It was a noise. Yeah, that one. It's not even showing. Hear that? Yeah. Do you I know what? It's I'll, not even on... I'll show that through Gold Wave if you want, mate. I can bring everything up by 250%. Yeah. You don't have sugar, do you? No. It's just a mug of tea. There we go. Thank you. Mug of tea on tea break. And, um, yeah. I don't know. Really talking to him, but there was a, I'll go back in a moment because there was a line. There was a spike. Have sugar. It might have been nothing, but you never know. Sugar then. Nicely done. Well, if you want to talk to us, there you go. But you never know. I'm being good, I've cut back. It's there again. So if you want to talk to us, there you go. So if you want to talk to us, there you go. Then you never know. Judges? If you want to talk to us, there you go. You never know. So if you want to talk to us, there you go. Might be you guys actually thinking about coming here. Same as our judges. I'll just have to compare with the camera, see if any of them have got to fix anything up. The problem with this is there's no there's no time index to say what time it was recorded. It's just a mm. length of recording. What's that? Weird. That's very interesting, that. You'll be able to hear when something actually is actually landmark set. Oh, oh but show me. Oh, okay, show me. Oh yeah, show me. Right, so we're on our tea break. This is the panel shorts tea break. Uh, we're uh, currently outside Liston Church, um, and it's about zero degrees outside. Ooh, one. Is it? Yeah. One. Oh, because it says there. <laughs> well, it's about zero. It's about, it's about zero. It's, it's it feels about zero. zero. It feels like it's worse, but with the breeze. At times, well, we just had fun at Borley. Uh, as we were leaving, there was a group of um, um, I don't know youths, um, youths, youths, youths. Because there's some youths, mm. and they were doing they they got quite freaked out by Tony. Well, one um, of our faces, they said, didn't one they of our say faces they scary. Say, oh, I saw a scary face. Though. Mm. That's right. Yeah, and it's usually me. Let's face it, I'm usually the scary one. So, about. yeah, right. thanks, yeah. thanks for doing that, Tony, tonight. It's been nothing you're else. You've got that free of If nothing else, you've been scary towards youths, which is good. Uh, you should have a couple cut out yourself, put around villages, freaking out kids. Is, on is the band that a couple of cut out? <laughs> <laughs> a revolving thing like on um, Home Alone. Just Tony's face revolving. <laughs> that could. Yes. As long as it deals with Brexit, mate, I don't give a shit. I'm sick of hearing. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Anyway, so we're, we're in here. It's one degrees. It's but we've got tea. We've got cake, uh, and this is the Paranormal Shorts tea break. So Tony, Tony, we briefly That's touched me. upon Tony and his. Um, you've had quite a sort of a lifelong interest in the paranormal, I believe. I have, and it's crossed over into my profession, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Judging by due to some of the things that I have to go and, and deal with as part of my job, um, I'm probably one of the only people doing my job that carries an EMF meter. Uh, wow. Due to the, like I say, some things that can't be explained. That's why we're here. That is why we are here. That's, we're not doing a Zach, but that's no. why we are here. It's because yeah. of the unknown. Uh, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's good. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that you're carrying that around with you as well is, is just brilliant. I I'll think. give you the, the prime example, shall I? Of the one the, what tipped me over the edge and made me carry one. Go for it. Yeah? House in Salem, elderly person, um, and we received a call because this elderly person said there was somebody in erratic. And we thought, this is mad. Uh, we went down a word of this elderly woman, uh, she was perfectly sound. 
while we were there, I heard footsteps run across the ceiling. And it was a bungalow, so there was nobody upstairs because the bungalow was upstairs. There was nobody in the attic, as we checked. But I clearly heard footsteps go across the ceiling. Yeah. And this lady had been telling us that there was somebody in her attic. And she wouldn't sleep, she wouldn't go to bed. She was convinced that there was somebody upstairs. And I have to say that I left that house and I was convinced that there was somebody upstairs. I just couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Well, that's, in, that's interesting. So you've... Uh Obviously, what you said about your profession, it's obviously difficult to, to do what we do in terms of the paranormal because obviously it's, um, I suppose it would be frowned upon. Um, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Um, but then that's, that's great because tonight you've joined us and tonight has been, we've, we have been to Borley Church and we have had probably, I would say, the most phenomena um, that I think I've had there. Yeah, uh, no, tonight, I agree with in that. terms of we've had about three different things that have occurred. Yeah. Not just scaring you, but obviously we'll, you'll see that obviously when, when it goes yeah. up. Um, and I've so. experienced one of the the legends, I think the only legend I haven't experienced there yet is the footsteps. Mm. Who knows that? Look at that. But I have oh, something to oh, show interesting. you. Interesting, right, what's this? So I was, this was a fortnight ago. Um, investigated Santon Church with Eddie Mallet um, and I caught on camera what I don't want to call it an orb because I don't think it is it's different to that um, and it appears out of a doorway and moves over towards Sophie straight after she says can you walk out of the uh, chancel and over to me okay let's have a look so I don't know what your take on that would be Interesting. I'm not obviously I've just filmed this from the screen. Hmm. Well that's interesting because if if that is um, an orb, uh, like a, in terms of what people people paranormal wise would class an orb to be, which is a spirit as opposed to a piece of dust, the fact there's no other although it's a small clip, although there's no other um, what looks well, like dust uh, moving around, it's interesting, it's responded it's to what's fact, been said. I've had yeah. dust before and it doesn't stay on screen for so long because it will move obviously. Of and course, it, the right, reflection just gone past the, the yeah, light. Yeah, the reflection yeah. of it on it will change, but the form of that didn't change. It's it almost didn't. like and a crescent like shape. Done, yeah, yeah, it but moved. It, the, yeah, but the actual form itself doesn't change, which shows it's... I'd like to put that through a negative shadow and see how yeah. that looks the other way. Yeah, I've only just day. looked at the raw footage, but I just wondered if, what your first impression hmm. would be. That's interesting. That's definitely, I, I like the fact it responds to what's being said. Hmm. Um, Which could be coincidence. It but could be. But out of all the directions it could have gone, it came out of the door and over to Sophie. Let's make it that tell you. Mm. It's interesting, isn't it? Definitely interesting. So there was nothing else on the screen that might indicate, like, say, high levels of dust or anything no. like that? No, but we've caught dust there before, but it's nothing like that. No, that is interesting. That's really I mean, as you say, you probably need to have a look at the mm. dry and isolate. Yeah, and see, can you make up, can you make out any other shapes within that mm. sphere, if you like? Could it, could it be yeah. something else? Um, but I think looking at that, it's probably not. I think no, you, I you need to anything. really blow it up and get into it. That's, yeah. This is this is the other part of, of what we do. Obviously, it isn't just about coming out. It's the the many hours we spend reviewing stuff before we decide yeah. whether or not we, we warrant it as being interesting enough to put up. And so. the problem with something like that as well is that if you if you go too deeply into it and you try and make it into too big an image, you'll lose all definition you'll just you'll start, tell yeah. either way. It, you know, it, so you, it, there's a fine balance to be drawn there to, as to without destroying the image, i.e. the, the, the contrast and um, the, the ability to make out what shape it is. Um, as long as we can actually still identify the shape uh, and have some sort of contrast with it, then you, you'll probably be able to um, to confirm one way or another whether it's an orb, whether it's an insect, or whatever it is. It's a little orb like to me. I, so I think I've taken a picture of, of quite a few, and the balls look very similar. I have to say, I I get to come across a square one, put it like that. <laughs> Weirdly, I have seen like a hexagonal shaped one before, which was really <laughs> weird. That was a, like a prism moving around. It was really weird. Um, interestingly, I, I got to see a video that someone had put up from a visit to um, oh, 
Oh, what was it called? Oliver Cromwell's house in Ely. Oh, yeah. And they are convinced um, they've captured an orb. And I said repeatedly to these people, um, it's clearly an insect because you could see the wings, you could see the way the light was. It was, it was a daddy long legs. You could <laughs> see it was a daddy long legs, um, but they wouldn't have it. They were adamant. It was the spirit of Oliver Cromwell, obviously back in insect form. Well, I don't uh, think lived there. I think that was... <laughs> we didn't, even better. I think yeah. that was his no. uh, mother and sister's house. That's right. He got that it, for. I don't think he ever... He may have visited, but I don't think he ever no. properly stayed there for any time. No, 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 he got Maybe that Christmas house for his mother Easter. and sister. Who knows, if, if they even celebrated Christmas and Easter back then. Because uh, he was a bit of a, a, bit of a roundhead, wasn't he? <clears throat> roundhead, round orb. There we go. Right, so, um, I'll tell you what, we've got cake. I was um, waiting for that. Hey? I was waiting for cake. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, well, I've kept it in because obviously we were at the church. It's angel cake. Oh. Angel cake? Oh, I don't mind. Yeah, go on, go for it. It's, it's quite chunky. It's there you go. Quite, isn't it? There you go, it's quite chunky. It's yeah, it, it's come all the way so, from uh, the co op. <laughs> so, because uh, obviously. Oh, no, thank, you thank, thank you very much. Angle cake, because angle, they're on an angle. Angle cake, because people can't write angel all over the mm. internet. That's quite amusing when they put that. They've been to the, uh, the angle of the north. Have you seen that? I have drunk in the angle in Glemstrid a few times. Hmm, <laughs> that's not bad. It's very nice. Mm. Well, thing to do on a Monday night. Three guys in a car outside the church. So, anything interesting happening in the paranormal this week? No. Nope. <laughs> That's very short and sweet, wasn't it? <laughs> no, um, there isn't, I don't think, that I've seen or heard. I did watch Ghost Ops the other night. Which was here, funnily enough. Hmm. Well, where's that? Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Have you just let James run with that then? Yeah. That's his baby. Yeah, no, I've had no input. Temperature's gone up. Good. It's going to be a scorcher. <laughs> a balmy two degrees. Well, balmy or balmy? I'm not sure how. Hmm. Right, well. Tony, we need to answer a few questions. Um, well, um, we've already mentioned the orb. Where do you stand on the orb? Try not to stand on them if you can help it. I try to let them just fly on through. <laughs> um, some classic humour there. Just I, I have some. <laughs> I have some pictures um, at home uh, from a visit to York, and they were taken with a quite an old camera, digital. Um, and we were stood outside the entrance to York Minster and <clears throat> I've been snapping away quite happily taking pictures as I was um, and the bell started to ring oh. and I thought oh that's nice you know bells at night and all that quite a nice spirit kept snapping away reviewed the pictures afterwards and the pictures before the bells rang were crystal clear and the ones afterwards were flooded with hundreds of orbs. Mm. Now I can't explain that. Um, mm. But that same camera also captured um, light anomalies round by the treasurer's house, which is well known um, for its Roman soldiers in the cellar. Um, but it was the roadway to the treasurer's house that was interesting because I took several snaps in a row and it showed clearly one picture had nothing there, second picture a little bit further along, nothing there, third picture, massive light anomaly. Um, oh. I'm not talking about a ball of light, I'm talking about it's almost like something had come whizzing past and had called, caused a blur in oh, okay. the image. Um, really, really strange. So yeah, um, I don't disbelieve in orbs, um, I think that... Um, it's been, I think science has proven that energy cannot die, um, that energy has to carry on in some form or another, mm -hmm. um, and we, we have an energy system within our body, we don't know what it is, 
Uh, we don't know how it's harnessed. We don't know what happens when things stop beating. Obviously, this energy has to go somewhere. So who's to say it doesn't end up as an orb, a ball of energy? I'm definitely with you on the energy thing. I, and I do think, I mean, from personal experience, um, it is all about energy. I think it's all definitely energy. Ev ev everything to do with the universe is just energy. And, I, and I, much like you, I don't believe that that when we, or our corporeal bodies die, that that's it. I believe that the energy has to go somewhere else. Um, and, and I think there is indeed a uh, another kind of realm, if you want, another place where this energy, I think, possibly goes to. I'm not sure what happens on the other side of it, or indeed if it isn't just a holding area for people coming back. I don't know. I mean, there's there's many ways of looking at it. But um, there's certainly, a, there's, there's no explanation for what happens to somebody when they die or indeed when people die and come back and tell you about what they've seen so that's, that's all, it's all good Luke got a question for Tony oh god I should have been thinking of one <laughs> uh, <clears throat> has there been one defining experience that grabs your interest um, apart from the one that I told you about with the uh, yeah there was um now, I never got to speak to these people, um, but I wish I had, because in, in the job that I do, we have an appointment system, uh, where people need to come and talk to you about a problem, um, they can make an appointment, they can come and speak to us at any time. And we had a job come in um, <coughs> that was sent through to the appointments team, and it was from a 14-year-old girl. And the 14-year-old girl previous night I've been home with her friend uh, they were the only two in the house quite an old house um, oh, and, excuse you Sorry. Uh, yeah. yes wow Thank and um, the um, they were messing around downstairs and they heard a loud bang upstairs and they went and uh, had a look nothing there and the girl's young friend said I think we ought to call the police because she was convinced there was somebody in the house so anyway, the daughter picks the phone up to call the police, but the phone rings in her hand. Oh. And on the other end of that phone, on the other end of the line, was a voice that said, don't call the police, I just wanted to say hello. Oh. So yeah, that kind of picks your interest. Wow, that's <laughs> really yeah. interesting, isn't it? That's a proper, that's a proper out there story. For that appointment came to me to deal with. Waiting for that lady to show up at the police station, but she didn't turn up. Oh dear. She didn't. Well, obviously, it was really freaked her out. Well, I should imagine that it was probably she was quite embarrassed and thought nobody would believe her. Oh. Which is the usual case. Yeah, that seems to be the way. Um, okay, the final question for, t for tonight would be. Um, also in the history of the paranormal there's been many strange stories and many strange events that have happened what, what is one that really stands out for you that's really piqued your interest oh that's that's got to be the um, treasurer's house the Roman soldiers okay uh, without a doubt um, for the, the lad that um, that saw that I mean it was it was a young lad a young apprentice um, working as a plumber in the uh, basement of the treasurer's house and to hear that trumpet and then to see um, a Roman legion walk through the wall um, wow. not visible from the knees down yeah. um, he, he then left that and recanted his story and wasn't believed for many years and um, it wasn't until many years later I think somebody else had, had said to them about a strange event that happened in the cellar and he recounted his experience um, and the historians wouldn't even believe him and that was it was yeah. proven only I think it was only recently actually sort of in the last sort of 10 years um, that what he saw was actually bang on the money um, because yeah, he, he cool. described a Roman legion um, that was dressed differently to any other Roman legion which is why the historians didn't believe him but now they uh. recognise the fact that the, these people actually dressed because they were conscripts he described